And that's why I'm convinced that she is gay, he is gay, Dude, and they're both in the closet. 100%. There's no way she's straight. It's at least, it's at least queer baiting. If he was a seasoning, he'd be flour. <laughs> what, <laughs> wouldn't even be the salt. Wouldn't like, even be the, the sugar. Not even the salt. You know, like, it, I it just, just leave that, 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 that on your tongue. Yeah, I've never seen someone look so bland you know you know like the the the, the base skin level the base level skin that you get in a video game yeah, 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 it's that. yeah. like default skin he's the default, default skin. skin oh Literally my god the default skin yeah i've never seen someone that is just like a like a human equivalent of like a honda odyssey <laughs> you know <laughs> I love how no one's going to know what we're talking about, <laughs> but I love that because listen, we're on episode two of Spill It. Yay! Um, we didn't get canceled. Oh God. We didn't get canceled, but that be, you know, to be fair, we're filming this a little early. We haven't yeah. even released that first episode yet. So maybe we did get canceled. So maybe we did get canceled. We should film two intros for this. I We've been canceled. We've been canceled. Okay. And then we'll just, and then roll yeah, back that, that's, and then we're, we're not, not canceled. canceled. <laughs> oh, and then let's do an apology of, we're so sorry. Oh, yeah, we yeah. didn't mean any of the things that we said. We promised to uh, go to therapy. The, who we were last week is not who we really are. That wasn't us. My therapist ghosted me. <laughs> Wait, is this serious? I'm dead serious. My therapist ghosted me twice. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I was messaging her and I'm like, <laughs> hey, so-and-so. I'm like, I'm in a bad place. And I didn't get a response for a month. Oh my God. Okay, now we do the other thing. Now we do the other thing. We don't apologize. We meant what we, we said. We meant everything we said. <laughs> Email this to my therapist. What if I was she on was. the ledge? I know. What if I she was, was actually on She's going to be the reason for a funeral one day, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. If I suicide note, I'm going to write her phone yeah. number. If if I die, like just put in all your coat pockets. Like if I die, it's this person's fault. Yes. I plan on doing that to my boyfriend. Call them at oh. So when I die, he can never get remarried. That's good. That, no, you know what? Because I think that there are some men who are so trash that they'll take that as a compliment. Oh, no. I'm saying like, if I ever die, they're going to find that note in all of his coats and then put him in prison. Oh. Yeah. So it's like so-and-so killed me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. <laughs> I actually like that. Oh, bitch, I like your nails. Let me oh, see. Thank you. These are cute. I don't see my nails are never cute. Look, look how cute her fucking nails are. Okay. They're gorgeous. My nails, I chew on them. They're not cute. Do you want cute nails? You said you were going to bring over like some polish. Do you want to do my nails? Bitch. What? What do you got? What the fuck is that? Uh, Oh my God. Wait, what the, where did (laughs) she come from? Okay, honey, pick a color. What color you on? What do you mean? What are these? The sanding fucking things? Yeah, bro. Listen, Ovly, I learned this year that uh, I so I got diagnosed with ADHD. Okay. And I realized that like little arts and crafts makes brain happy, and so I was like, well, what arts and crafts can I do? And then I didn't want to admit it because I've been running from it for so long because I didn't want to be a fucking stereotype because I'm Vietnamese, but then it finally happened. I'm doing nails now. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard, bitch, to not do this. But now look at me. Now look at me. I mean, it's cute. I just think it's cute that your like life calling, uh, or, or rather your uh, cultural calling yeah. is you want to do nails. My cultural calling as a Japanese woman is I want to kill myself sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it, it makes sense. Okay, so what is all this? Everything. Every, like, this is... This is everything that you could ever want. Do you like, okay, first off, let's start with what colors you want. What's your favorite color? Black, but I don't like black nails. See, black nails lost its like appeal. You know why? Huh? Do you know why? And I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying this. What? White men ruined it. A certain type of white men, A though. certain type of white... Because, like, Travis Barker back then, black nails? Fine. No, 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 no. Of course, yeah. of course. Like, My Chemical Romance yeah, yeah, fan yeah, yeah. base, like, love it. Yeah. It's the Valorant boys. Oh all of God. the Valorant boys started painting their nails black, and it took away all meaning. It's like it's like they got a starter package, right? It's exactly. Black nail polish, the dangly cross earring. Or the, or the chain. Or the chain. Or the, the chain. Pearls. Yes, the, chain the pearls. pearls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ender, shout out. <laughs> and then like all the same haircuts yes yeah with like a not exactly a turtleneck but like one of those like a uh, long sleeve what is it yes. like a crew neck type yeah, yeah, of thing yeah, yeah. oh my yeah. god you're right they did see so like Ugh. black nails used to be cool they're still fantastic for like the emo and the goth crowd yeah. and everything but the fucking valorant boys ruined it yeah 
Like if it's like white boy wearing it, punk rock, goth kid, whatever. But if it's like an Asian dude, it's like, oh man. That Asian dude definitely says the N-word when he plays games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you a story? Okay. Did you have many Indian kids growing up with you? A few. In a few? Yeah. Okay. Did they used to say the N-word a lot? No. Oh, shit. Yes. Wait, yes. Yes. Yo, remember that era where Jay-Z made that song with Punjabi MC? No. What? What was that? It's R-O-C, you don't. Sa Punjabi MC, you don't. So, you remember this, Ian? Yeah. Producer Ian, you can't see Producer Ian. Producer Ian is black, not Indian, but he's... <laughs> He, he is confirming okay. so that was like my freshman year that song came out and all the indian people were like this is our fucking time <laughs> and it was they were blasting that one song every day after school and there were so many end bombs thrown but then back then everyone threw the end bomb around but that week that was their week to say it apparently so yeah i do remember okay let's pick a color and then i'm gonna tell you that story right, because the amount of indian kids dropping the n-word like they themselves were jay-z or kanye <laughs> was insane where do i pick a color from is it from in there or from here those are those look like spark those don't look like polish though they no, just look like, like paint imagine metallic chrome like straight up like shiny chrome oh chrome. i like chrome yeah do you like chrome I like chrome. What color chromes do you want? Uh, I like I like the green. I like the purple. Here, you pick. Okay, can you. we do like some are green and some are purple? Yeah, green and purple. What are you, Joker? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Kind of, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I remember. Okay, so in sophomore year, there I used to like have like pots of glitter because I just loved uh -huh. doing crafts and makeup and stuff. And yeah. I was a sophomore, and this girl next to me it was like during silent reading. This girl next to me sweet girl like you like it was one of those girls where it's like you're so shy maybe you get bullied right and i remember she's like can i see i'm like yeah yeah and i gave her a pot of glitter uh -huh. and she actually she accidentally went oh, and spilled like a good third of it and then i saw it in the corner of my eye and she like tried to cover it with the paper i'm like everything okay she goes yeah everything's okay i'm like oh she was so nervous and i felt awful she was the sweetest. And then you called her out, right? You said, hey, bitch. Yeah. I, spill my colors. I made her life miserable for the rest of the school year. Good. As you Imagine. should. As you should. Okay. Those are my colors. Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this to the side. Yeah. Um. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, you pull all that out. I'll tell the story yeah. of all the Indian kids who would say the N word repeatedly <laughs> growing up. Um, so I grew up in Northern California, Silicon Valley. Yeah. If you guys don't know much about Silicon Valley, it's basically where Google is, where all of the tech companies and startups are that we and can't Sunnyvale. We can't afford to live there anymore. Absolutely, we cannot afford to live there. It's the generational wealth and like the the tech boom dot com, mm -hmm. like all of those people and everything. Mm -hmm. So growing up uh, as the half white, half Asian girl, and we're going to talk about this later in the podcast. Um, I was the minority because I was partially white. But I feel like you were like coveted. The Hoppa girls are always coveted. Not for me growing what? up. Absolutely not for me growing up. That's I crazy. I was a mutt. Oh. I was mixed blood. Like I they they were like you're not Asian because you're getting bad math scores. Oh my god. So like I get an A minus and they're like, "Wow, you came to school without bruises. You're not <laughs> one of us." And I'm like, "Shit, right?" So I was like one of the only white kids in my school and uh, my, my parents weren't typically Asian either. So mm. like we didn't do things that were typically Asian, right? Yeah. All that being said is basically for me to say that there were a ton of Asian kids and Indian kids in my school. Mm. Now, when there's no black kids at your school, there's no one there to check them. The Indians think that they're black. Oh. The men, at least. Yeah. Uh, this is at least my experience. And so they would walk around thinking that they were rappers and that they could say the N-word because they had the darkest skin tone oh of anyone in our elementary oh to middle school. And because it's an elementary to, or excuse me, it was a preschool to uh, middle school. Uh -huh. Because it was a preschool to middle school, you grow up with the same amount of, the same people yeah. for like, 10 years of your life. I can't do math. Eight, eight or 10 years of your life or whatever. And so people are just assume like, okay, yeah, no, that's just Parshan. He <laughs> likes to rap to Jay-Z and mm -hmm. he says everything, right? Yeah. And so we had some of these kids. One of these kids had a crush on my uh, sister, younger sister. Who's, oh, oh, you're younger. Right <laughs> oh, <laughs> younger sister. Oh. Younger sister. One of these kids had a crush on my sister and he was a dick. Mm -hmm. He was a absolute dick. He would come up and like call me. Can you say cunt on YouTube? Okay, so he would call me a cunt 
and all of these like awful words and stuff and then he would call me the n-word oh my god <laughs> he'd call me all of these terrible things and i'm basically like shut the fuck up right so i found his youtube channel that he uploaded uh rap on no and i became the world's first cyber bully oh my god <laughs> Ovily Elizabeth May. I tell him I, t- I would write under there. I was like 12 at the time. No, I was a little bit older. No, I was 12 at the time. Because in this case, would probably be like 11 or something, right? Yeah. Uh, one year age gap. And I'd be like, I forgot what his name was. It may- uh, maybe it was Akash. But I was like, Akash, you ain't shit. Oh. You ain't never going to be shit. <laughs> Your raps are dog piss. I'm like, all of this sucks. I'm like, my sister will never want to. Oh, my you. God. <laughs> He got so mad and he's like, this next diss track is for this bitch in my comments. You had a diss track written about you at 12 years old? He called me the N word. Oh my God. I feel like that is the only time you've been ever called that slur. Nope. And they actually, what? <laughs> but they actually meant it in a mean, mean way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I feel like it's the same thing with Aquafina, right? Yeah. You know Aquafina said it. Oh, she? No, I'm just saying you know that she has. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people born in the 80s, early 90s definitely said it because it was so normalized back then, especially mm-hmm. in the Bay Area, because the Bay Area, Bay Area Filipinos, totally different, you know? Uh, I know to this day they probably still do say it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it's safe to assume that they probably, yeah, Aqua, yeah, maybe I like, I'm not going on record to say maybe she does, maybe she doesn't, but I, I, I went on record, but I, you know, but it's just one of those things where it's like, huh, not surprised. Well, I mean, it's people like, okay, wait, what are you doing? This is to soften your cuticles so I can push it back. Are you saying Ollie, that my cuticles are hard? It's just to soften so I can push it back. It's a normal thing. Oh, you have about the hands of a fucking grubby four-year-old. <laughs> What the fuck? Why? Okay. Are you- hey, you know what, bitch? You're supposed to be saying that in Vietnamese, so okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to I'm I'm doing great. How about Someone you? Someone can translate. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to translate that in the comments. You know, don't even put captions. Wait until mm. someone in the comments actually translates it. You have child hands. Your nails are tiny. <laughs> All right. Like, they're short. And your fingers are fucking puny. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like I should be doing your nails on a McDonald's playpen right now. <laughs> like at a fucking birthday party where your parents hired me to do fucking pretty princess nails on their fucking four year old. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I think I'm self conscious now. <laughs> I think I've just built up a complex. Honestly though, but then like your your hands are I'm so glad you're you're it's not like cut up in dried cuticles. Yours are actually nice. Oh thank you. You just have very small nail beds, which is fine. That's okay. They they also curve up. They do curve up. Yeah, they curve up. And you don't, at least, you know what? As long as you don't have those fucking thumbnails. I'm unique. Like, oh, those thumb, those those toe thumbs. That's what toe it is. Thumbs? Oh, no, I don't have a toe thumb. Yeah. I'm not Megan Fox. Yeah. Those those freak me out. Um, like, I don't care if I meet, like, the hottest dude in the world. You know, like Josh, you know? Like, but if you he had be, a toe thumb? Yeah, you can be the hottest dude. You can be my Josh. But if I went home with you or I got a closer look and you had a fucking toe thumb... Like, I'm assaulting you, all right? Assaulting? <laughs> like, get some things away from me. <laughs> like, that's a fucking threat, all right? Oh Don't you ever God. show me those. <laughs> You'd be like, <gasps> start screaming. Yeah. Don't you ever. Um, speaking of terrible things that we all did as a child, mm. you know who Angela Johnson is? Yes. I, you know what? I, <laughs> we all loved her back then. Yeah, Vietnamese right? Vietnamese people fucking loved her. Like, my, my family owns nail salons and they thought it we was knew the that funniest yeah of course you know <laughs> like it's not a shot in the dark here you know like my family everyone that i knew relax relax i thought i had to, uh, <laughs> what do i relax <laughs> relax honey <laughs> but yeah she would always do the crystal gel the crystal gel yeah, crystal yeah, yeah, gel. yeah yeah and so like i i have always thought it was funny like the comedy back then was different i'm sure you know like everyone knows the comedy back then was different but not one person i knew not one asian person i knew back then was ever offended by it they all fucking loved it we're like yeah we're being recognized she does sound like us it's fucking crazy you know yeah, yeah, yeah um and then now it's she's getting shit for it and i'm just like dude shut up so i feel like the funny thing and maybe like the closest thing for me mm-hmm. was gwen stefani and the harajuku girls 
Oh, you mean our Japanese queen, Gwen Stefani? Our Japanese queen, Gwen Stefani? Yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. When I was a kid and Gwen Stefani had the Harajuku girls and the yeah. Harajuku girls collection and all that stuff, I'm yeah. like, oh, cool, Japanese representation. Yeah. Right? I was fucking excited yeah. about that. We had like a lot of Chinese representation. We had a lot of, um, I feel like, what was the life and times of Juniper Lee that was also Chinese? There was American Dragon Jake Long that was Chinese. Juniper mm-hmm. Lee, I think, was also Chinese. We had London Tipton, a.k.a. Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, which was also Chinese. Oh. There wasn't, like, a ton of Japanese representation besides we had Samurai Jack a little bit. Who was played by a black guy, I think. Who was played by, yeah, I think a black guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, it's like it was, like, fun to be able to see that back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that she's getting shit for it now. I'm like, dude, we fucking love that shit. No, it's if she was still doing it now, yeah. then, yeah. sure, that's a whole other conversation, but it's like, she's not she's yeah i actually don't know what the fuck gwen stefani is doing right now but she's probably chilling she's gwen vibing. stefani was every every race back then when she was making music with eve she was black when she was doing the harajuku girls she was japanese mm-hmm. we love an international queen <laughs> isn't that what ariana grande is oh right yeah now? what phase is she in right now what country is she oh, in no, right she's, now she's back to being white oh okay she's back to being white and home wrecking spongebob you saw that whole thing dude it was, that was stupid dude it was stupid. why would he ever think that she would take him seriously in long like come on bro <laughs> that's crazy are you um, kidding me do you remember what i messaged you when i said g and i have a topic to talk about yes i don't remember what it was called but you said gina we're gonna do this i'm like oh what's that you and then you responded with don't look it up all right bye okay. and i'm like what the fuck okay so gina have you seen this trend on tiktok it's called rcta no Okay, can you do you have any guess as to what that stands for? R C T A. Racist Chinese tries apple pie. Honestly, you're kind of <laughs> close. You're kind of close there. Okay. Um, because there is a little bit of racism in there, and the Chinese are involved. Oh god. That didn't sound right. What Wait, did we one do? second. It's the other way around. Okay. Uh R C T A stands for race change to another. I've seen this. You've seen it. Oh no. You've seen it. Yes. Okay. So for people who aren't chronically oh like God. online, like me and Gina on mm-hmm. TikTok. So basically there's this new I'm going to call it a trend. There's this new trend going ar- on around TikTok right now. It's called race change to another. Where there are Which by the way, like the most non-creative name ever. No. Oh, that's so right, right, boring. I right. feel like they just tried to hide it. Yeah. Um, so basically, RCTA, race change to another, is a trend or a movement that people are trying to take over to say, hey, listen, I was born white, <laughs> but in actuality, my name is Young So and I'm Korean. My name is Sakura. Sakura Haruno Hidako. Sakura. Haruno Sakura. <laughs> Sakura. <laughs> yeah. And so it's primarily, I'm going to say primarily, it's primarily white women who are convinced that they are Korean, that they are Japanese, that they are Asian. Yes. Um, when but never Southeast Asian. Never South. Never you are South absolutely East correct. Asian, yeah. No one's out there saying, I'm Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> it's always, I'm Korean, mm-hmm. I'm Japanese, mm-hmm. I'm Chinese. Mm-hmm. And to me, it is fucking crazy yeah. where they're saying like this is my process and to me i feel like the fucked up thing is that they're using the current conversation of transgender human rights like really? that type of stuff where it's like oh well if someone can start as a man no. and then transition to a women woman i can start as white paint my face brown oh, and call God. myself a black woman oh, like ariana God. grande there was that one woman in england who was taking like injections to make her skin darker what was the dozel rachel uh, something dozel what, ian's got the name dozel. dozel yeah so there was a white woman named something dozel uh like uh what was it she had like red curly hair and all that stuff yeah. boom now she's got dreads and she's saying like i'm black yeah Yep. And then I think she tried to be a black history professor. Oh my God. Then there was also this London guy. I want to say Oliver, Olive, Ollie something like that. Ollie London. Ollie London, um, who was a white guy. And he's like, I am Jimin, Jimin from BTS mm-hmm. and got so much plastic surgery to, to try to make himself look Korean and everything. Didn't get it close at all. Not even close. Yeah. He ended up looking more like a woman than anything. And then so he became transgendered. And then he decided, I don't want that anymore. Now I hate transgendered people. It's disgusting and it's not healthy. And he's like super against them now. It's, and how can you be fucking, uh, I'm just, 
But then in between that, also, he decides to be Filipino for a little bit, too. Oh, so, okay. So, no, yeah. what you're saying is that we should stand him because <laughs> he, included us. he included the Filipinos. <laughs> that, no, 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 Gina, I think you just made a case for him. He's you're right. You're stand. right. You know what? That's right. He spoke for all of us when we, were, we weren't heard. You're right. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, okay. So, I've seen, like, screenshots because there's Discord servers yes. of these RCTA. And they, I, I didn't look too deep into it, but there's Discord servers and there's this thing that they do called face claims. Yes. What Wait. is that? Okay, so I, I don't know the face claim in particular, but what I can say about their Discord servers, the first thing that they do is they vet you. So they ask you like, what's your name? What's your age? Submit a picture of yourself and tell us what your born race w- is Stop. and what your true no. race is or something uh, with similar terminology. So there was a woman, there was an Asian woman who uh, infiltrated, infiltrated <laughs> sent a picture of like herself Asian yeah. and saying like, my name is so-and-so I'm such and such years old. I started as German, but I'm finally close to reaching my, oh, my true my race, which is, you know, Chinese. Yeah. And then she includes a picture of herself. And so they let her into the server and she's met with all of these other crazy pictures where it's all like, my name is Susie and oh, I was God. born Irish, but my real name is actually uh, a d- fucking Yoon Seri, right? Yeah. Like crazy shit. Oh my God. And it's all these people are dead fucking serious. So what do they do? Like, do they just like do they role play what do they do i shit you not they write they have like these different channels and stuff where it's like how can i make myself look more asian and what? people will dead ass say have you tried taping your eyes back no yes oh my dead ass, god dead ass they'll say i use such and such tape to pull my eyes backwards <gasps> to give me my true race no eye. it's crazy oh my god Obli, you know what you should do now I'm scared. You gotta, you gotta get in there, bud. You just, you, you're technically not lying. You can just say, "I'm starting as German," and after a few months, I am now Japanese. And look up the progress I've made. So, like, okay, so you want to know the fucked up thing about this? Hmm. And I, I talked about it a little bit uh, earlier. So, because I was born half Japanese, half German, right? Uh-huh. Japanese German. Uh, I've had this conversation with people. When you look at me, do you go, "Oh, that's an Asian girl"? Uh, I say that's definitely like a mixed Asian girl. So yeah, but you don't immediately go, oh, she's Asian, no. right? No. When I go to white people, I'm like, do you think I'm white? And they're like, definitely not. Uh-huh. You're not white. Yeah. At least you're not full white or anything. So I've had this weird complex growing up for most of my life where I did not know which, you know, Aww. race or rather culture I was supposed to belong to. Aww. Because the other fucked up thing is that there was one other Japanese kid in my school for a bit. Yeah. They knew Japanese. They celebrated Japanese uh, cultures and holidays, obon, like all of this stuff. But because both of my grandparents are Japanese, I'm the only one in my family that speaks any Japanese. Because you were raised by your grandparents, right? And well, the reason for that is both of my grandparents grew up in the internment camps. Oh. So it was basically like, oh, motherfucker. You just bombed us in yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. You speak that insert racial slur oh language gosh. here. Yeah. And uh, like you're fucking out, right? Yeah. Like, fuck you. Well, I met them too. They're so sweet. I know, right? Oh my gosh. And so it's like they, they spoke English growing up. They don't know Japanese. Oh. They didn't teach my mother Japanese. Yeah. So yeah. of course I don't I have zero Japanese culture. At the same yeah. time, there's zero German culture. It's just American yeah. culture or something, right? Yeah. So when I see this shit, because I struggled w- internally, I was like well, I like Japan. I like Japanese stuff. I am Japanese. Yeah. But do I truly get to have Japanese culture because it was never taught yeah. to me growing up? So you right? were called a banana growing up. Yeah, fucking banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, the Asians said that I didn't look Asian. You look Asian. Not I according to, to these bitches. I need to see childhood photos of you. I was so blonde I growing up. What? I was blonde until I was five. And then it just turned brown. Whoa. I was blonde until I was Damn. five and it turned brown. Hitler would have kicked your ass out of the fucking house immediately, bro. The moment you turned five. Holy shit, bro. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and see, the German side kicked me out too. <laughs> so That's crazy. You know, so for me, that's why I'm like, motherfucker, I, I understand really relating to like something, a, a culture or... Um, 
it is it is honestly just culture i understand relating to a culture yeah that you did not inherently grow up with yeah but that you'd like to celebrate or that you'd like to be more a part of but to fucking call yourself chinese yeah when your name is like fucking sarah and yeah. you grew up in minnesota fucking and a full white family minnesota. or something like it, it uh, what the fuck that's weird that, like you can be interested in the culture that's awesome yeah celebrate, but don't just claim to be it out of nowhere and, the, and then ian, again ian i'm black now yeah producer ian producer ian i want to join and uh, thank you you could, so, <laughs> wait, wait wait so she could say it you know my role <laughs> what yeah what uh you, producer ian do you would you like to explain what the is role? this rule i'm gonna use my mic for this one <clears throat> You can say uh, the N word if you have had some black in you, and you, and it and it's only limited during the time while it's in you. Wait, so it has to be in you at the moment, or it's in your family, or it's in your uh, in your blood, or it's in your pussy. Oh, in your. <laughs> See, that's where I was going. Yeah, okay, that's where. During the act, you're fine. During? I thought. Why would they call you that during? <laughs> Gina, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I thought your rule was you can only say it if you've been yelled at or if you've been called that by the police. No! I- yeah, that one works too. That's what he told me. If the oh. police have yelled it at you, then it's fine too. Oh my god! <laughs> and that is racial equality. Na 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 na. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to a police station and be like, hey, listen, I just need a quick favor. <laughs> I said a quick favor. Like, listen, I need to record. This. Yeah, I need to record this. It shouldn't co- it shouldn't be hard for you. You do this all the time. Can you just like just you know just oh, I'm gonna Facetime my friend Ian really quick. It's gotta be hard, R. <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> Ian, do you have your camera on, by the way? I do not. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, we need proof, Ian. Listen, I am we African American. Nikki, Nikki, I'm gonna send you a picture of Ian to place in the corner. <laughs> Can we just use like a a, a stock photo? Of like a, a student, like a college student, a college like a, student. <laughs> with like the watermark still over it, like just trying to pass it as Ian. <laughs> like, no, we swear he's black. We swear. We oh found God. a black guy. Probably. <laughs> we found, we found a black guy. It's hard to laugh in this thing. I I just came off of a shoot, so as you could see, I kept the top half of the costume on, and then like the bottom sweatpants on. Mullet outfit. On. Business on top, party on the bottom. That's how I stream mullet mullet isn't that a bad haircut yeah yeah, yeah. business in front party in the back business up top party in the bottom mullet i feel like it's casual on top and then just like trash in the back yeah that's that's why we're trying to hide it yeah 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 Yeah, yeah. like um like in the front is like it's like i'm running for president and the back is i'm also fucking my secretary why do my nails look like this now? <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. There's, We're working on it. <laughs> We're working on it. It's like, it's like, you have Tic Tacs for nails. You know that? That's why I chew on them. Of course you do. God damn it. What well, I stopped about? chewing on them for you. Oh, good. Well, we were talking. We were talking oh, about yeah, yeah. the the race change to another. What race would you change to, Gina? If you could be born a different race. What's she thinking? She's thinking about this. Do I want to be cute or do I want privilege? See, uh, see, I feel that because it's like, if, if you're asking what would you like to be born as? Yeah. Why dude? Yeah. Right. Why dude? Yeah. You yeah. Can go anywhere. Yeah. With that shit. Yeah. Probably a white man. Yeah. Why? Probably a white okay, man. Okay. But no, you, you would have to be a woman. I'd be I, a white I, woman. <laughs> you'd be a white. I'd be a white woman. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like. The yeah. privilege sounds fun. Yeah. You know? I mean, I feel like being Asian right now has its perks. Yeah. I feel like Asians are finally getting their chance. Yeah, but shine. still, it will never... Let's go Ali Wong. I'm not going to say never. Not that it's never going to be, you know, as the caliber of being white. But it's safe. It's 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 slowly getting there, but will it ever be 100% equal like that? No, I don't think so. Like, it's it's so deeply ingrained in us like even with vietnamese people back then when i used to work in vietnamese entertainment um, whoa, whoa, whoa whoa what is vietnamese entertainment like i used to be okay so i did a beauty pageant like a miss vietnam usa so i was a, be- a pageant girl did i not tell you this bitch i want pictures oh my god <clears throat> long story short 
uh, the, the year before her senior year in high school, I was like, I'm bored. And this was like goth Gina. I'm like, I'm bored and I want to do something I've never done before. So I signed myself up for a beauty pageant. It was Miss Vietnam USA. Uh, and I was, I was, yeah, I was 17 years old. And then they were like, okay, uh, cool. Come to the preliminaries. I didn't tell my family. And then, so I went to preliminaries with one aunt. Uh, shout out to Nancy. I still love her so much. And went to preliminaries. They're like, okay, cool. You passed. You're going to the competition. And I was like, oh, fuck. I was not planning this. So... I'm like, okay, time for me to tell my family. Uh, long story short, I got second runner up. And then from that point on, I worked for like Vietnamese TV commercials and Vietnamese music videos and music like, or Vietnamese, um, like just entertainment in general. But even back then, I, I used to miss out on a lot of like modeling jobs or commercial jobs because for Vietnamese brands, because it was it was, no, we need white people so that white people will think like it's a good product and it's not like something from China and knockoff, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So we want white like models. We want white actors. Yeah. So either I would not get the job at all or I would get the job, but there's always at least one token white person there so that, you know, Asian people can be like, see, see, white people like it too. Yeah, America. So that's so deeply ingrained into everything, um, into like other cultures also that, I it's it's our people need to be better at that too yeah well I mean you know with a lot of Asian culture too it's even if you are Asian Mm -hmm. if you're not pale Asian there's pale Asian and then there's oh tan Asian and it's like you're poor because you were working in the field exactly it's like crazy Mm -hmm. I remember coming home from school and my grandmother be like why are you so black and I'm like P.E. bitch like what the fuck like it's Northern California. We have outdoor schools. I just right. ran the mile on a fucking Wednesday, dude. Okay. Did you actually run? No, I fucking walked. <laughs> and I cut the corners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked with my friend Lupita. All right. And we just cut the corners. It took, what, 12 minutes for me to finish a mile. All right. But yeah, it was, it was always, relax, woman, relax. <laughs> but yeah, it was always so frowned upon, like the colorism, the worshiping of like European features. Did your did your family ever make you pinch the bridge of your nose to make it higher? No. So that's the one thing. My family completely whitewashed. My mm, Asian right. mother very, very, very whitewashed. Like I said, zero Japanese culture. I've s- <laughs> I said this on Caster's Couch before. Mm. The other podcast, the more esports podcast. <laughs> Check it out with the link below. Um, <laughs> I've said that I've told this story before on Caster's Couch with Raz and Flowers. Mm. Um, but my mom has some weird inner hatred towards Asians. Oh, God. Uh, I would be watching anime downstairs. I remember this. I was watching Code Geass. It was like one of the final episodes of Code Geass, and I was watching it subbed. Mm hmm. And she came downstairs and so it's, oh, sorry, subbed. If you don't know what it is, they're speaking in Japanese and there's English subtitles at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Although if you don't know what that is, you're watching the wrong fucking podcast because this is where weebs live. (laughs) Idiot. No, just kidding. Um, And so my mom comes downstairs. She listens to it. She stands down. She stands next to the TV for a second listening and looking at what's going on. Uh And then she turns to me and he goes, waka chaka cha, ching chong, waka chaka cha. And I go, Bitch, you're Japanese. No. I shit you not. And here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. I added on Ching Chong uh-huh. because I can't remember what the rest of the stuff that she said. Uh-huh. But she couldn't even come up with like something that was closer to a <laughs> Japanese slur. Right. So when people want to be racist to Chinese, they say Ching Chong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What do they say for Vietnamese? Um, they just make noises. They, right yeah or they do the angela johnson yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, they'll, yeah. They'll, they'll make like uh inflections of noises yeah wham, 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 yeah exactly yeah. right like that like for japanese at least scary movie gave you the blueprint say sushi tempura suzuki yeah. honda civic right yeah. honda civic yeah, right yeah, yeah, like yeah. be at least racist in that way at least but she comes up it. with waka chaka cha yeah what? What is that? is that like a burger joint? Like what the fuck is that? It sounds like it. Oh Could I get a waka chaka cha burger yeah. and a side of crispy fries? Oh my god! Crazy bitch. Like if you're gonna be racist, at least like be good at it. You what? Know? Like don't don't make it dumb. If you're gonna be racist, at least be funny. Yeah, at least be funny. Give some. Give people. <laughs> get the sounds and slurs right. All right. Get the sounds and slurs right. God damn it, Jesus Christ. 
It's that's fucking crazy. That's weird. Crazy. I wonder. Crazy. I wonder where it comes from. So she was born and raised here in America. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for this? Oh God. Okay. We're go- we're jumping into family mode. Okay. My mom was like a head cheerleader. My dad was a football person, they and they made in high me. School. Oh, you are the product of the prom king and queen cheerleader football player. I hate my parents. Wow. <laughs> That's wild. Isn't that wild? But now you saw pictures of my sister. Does that make sense? That does make sense. That makes so, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, just, it skipped one. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. That's... Okay, so they peaked in high school. That's why they're fucking weird now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Okay, got Crazy it. Crazy shit. Crazy Jesus shit. Jesus Christ, yeah. Let I, us know if your parents peaked in high school in the comments below. Dude, my mom is forever 21 and... At, at first, I was like, oh, that's so cool. I can go clubbing with my mom. I took I took her uh, to a nightclub once. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is so cool. And then <clears throat> after a while, it became, okay, can, can you cook dinner or something? You know, like, I don't know, like drive me to school for once. All right, honey, stick your hand in the machine. Okay. And if it starts burning, take it out for like a second and then put it back in. Gel does like tend to heat up real quick. All right. Cool. And if it gets hot, just take it out for a second, put it back in. <clears throat> so my mom um, never grew up past 21. Okay. Um, so it was, it was like, yeah, cool. Like young mom, party mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You're 50. Put down the Hennessy. <laughs> what the fuck? You know? So yeah, that's, yeah. like growing up, I realized, oh, this is super not cool. Put it, take it out and put it back in like this is super not cool like you were never actually like a mom you know um i don't think she's ever cooked me a meal in my life given i was raised by grandparents also hell yeah but i lived with her for like maybe two months and did not cook a meal at all so she's like stuck in that forever young part in her life um and she's also like fucking crazy i'm i'm, I'm not not officially diagnosed but i'm assuming narcissist mm-hmm and one of those, like, whatever my friends are doing, I will also do. Um, so at one point, like, hyper Trump supporter. Mm. Another point was at one point she was, like, anti-vaxxer, mm. you know. But then she started hanging out with other people and it just completely changes. She's Flip like, no, I support yeah, it. Yeah. I'm like, and then she'll completely just pretend that it never, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah, you're, yeah. you're fucking weird, man. That's crazy. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Honestly, family's kind of weird, but I feel like we kind of turned out okay. ADD therapy and meds and all. Yeah, dude. Like, it's not bad. Yeah, you can, you can, that's fine now. Oh, it's, it's okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, that's crazy. I mean, like, we both do cool shit. Oh, you were doing some cool shit this week, right? Yeah. You did some cool shit today. You, you voiced something? What were you doing? So I did my very first voiceover gig ever. I've been wanting to get into voice acting and so today was my first time i did a voiceover gig and i'm gonna be in a video game (gasps) i can't say what video game yet but uh i play a super cool chick and i like i was so nervous going in because it's my first time what the hell do i do in this this recording booth but i did it and i had such a fun time oh i'm so excited yeah it was with gerard the completionist oh is this for the thing the thing (gasps) the The thing. thing yeah can you give us like a voice line or like a grunt did you have to do grunts or I had was to it do just grunts lines? i had to do pain sounds i had to do my hias and 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 like and my little shit talking and stuff can we and hear can we hear the grunts and hias <clears throat> oh you want to know something funny so there was at one point in the recording they're like okay we need you to like breathe hard like you're you're tired like you guys just ran and you guys um finished the fight i'm like <sighs> <sighs> and gerard goes yeah it sounds like you're having an orgasm i'm like gerard i don't know how else i can like i that's just how and he's like yeah you know what you're right i'm like how about this what if i give you longer breaths like <sighs> <sighs> like that's better right yeah like a <sighs> yeah Ooh. <laughs> i'm just trying to clip something for the patreon <laughs> oh my god if you guys have whimpering clips please send them in um but yes, yeah, so I did my first voiceover today and it was so fun. 
Uh, Gerard and the, the crew made it easy and very relaxed, and I didn't want to get out of the booth. So I'm hoping, you know, more shit comes out of this and I get to, like, VO more stuff. Um, I don't know when the, the game's going to come out, but when it does, we'll be sure to tell you. I'm super excited yeah. for that. Uh, I, and then uh, I thought it would be like, oh, this is going to be so awkward. But man, I was swinging in there. I was jumping. I was running around. It was, it was, it was dope. That's kick ass. I'm so excited for you, girly. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's super cute though. Um, I remember I did video game voiceover once. It was super fun. It was basically like <gasps> as an announcer. Cool. Um, I did it with flowers. <clears throat> it was a good vibe. Um, but our, mine was like a little bit more straightforward. It's like, the astral prism has been taken. Oh. The so-and-so is there. Oh, I see. Right? I see. Yeah, yeah, But, like, it's so nerve-wracking. It is. Because it's like, I... No matter what I say, I felt like I was coming off flat. But and you are time, never flat. Well, I mean, before 20, 2010, I was. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. What if we got boobs at the same time? dude in 2010 i would have been going into high school oh my god we could i could have been a high schooler with Which jumbo is- jugs <laughs> we could have been so cool together if we went to high school would we like each other or hate each other in high school i think we would like each other in high school because i've always loved i was a golf kid in high school and i always loved the nerds i used to come to school with um with like my chain wallet and my nintendo ds okay so i think we would have gotten along just fine i think you would have bullied me i was never a bully no no no. hear me out hear me out i don't think that you would mean to have bullied me yeah. but i feel like you would have bullied me accidentally yeah that makes sense i'm sensitive and yeah. also like yeah that would make sense right honestly not- um you know what you it would have been one of those things where it's like i would bully you in a loving way and only i can do it you know that's fair yeah i would i would take you in as a little sister that's cute i think i think we would have gotten along just fine because we would have so many similar um similar interests that's how i actually met my you know what that's that uh, that's actually how i met my now best friend because she i was a teacher's aide for for dance class right and i had to go to the office for the teacher for something a a fly was flying up my (laughs) nose and both of my hands are occupied so i was trying to oh my god so cute blow it away but yes tell me about your now best friend that i'm learning is not me (laughs) <laughs> bitch you brought her to my birthday i remember oh my god yeah, um so uh so that's that's my other one so they, we're in a group of, we're a trio um oh there's a trio yeah it's a trio and it's not a quadro i mean it could be a quadro if you want in no i just fine i'm just i'm just learning so many new things today <laughs> yeah. um and so she was she was sitting outside of class on the like on the front steps of her class mm-hmm. and i came out i was like hey what are you doing here? She's like, oh, I'm skipping class. I'm like, you're skipping class by sitting in front of the fucking class? And from that point on, I was like, you're so fucking stupid. I got to take you in. Otherwise, oh. you're not going to survive. And we've been friends ever since. That's so cute. Yeah. Okay, I do have to ask. Hmm. How much longer on these? Not too long. It's just a little bit longer because I have to focus while talking and oh, you move okay. a lot. Well, I don't move. You said I was too stiff. No, your fingers are stiff, but the rest of your body is very wobbly. Is that why I can't find anyone to love me? <laughs> you know what you are, Ovly? Tell me, Gina, what am I? You would make a great character in that Switch game, Arms. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> what is that, that spaghetti you bitch? Oh, no, 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 Min Min? Yeah, you would be Min Min with your <laughs> lanky fucking limbs, is it, dude. Is it Min Min because her arms are noodles and men is noodles? Probably. In Chinese. Yeah. It's Chinese, right? Men is noodles in Chinese? Is it in Japanese is also? Is it Japanese like somen, also? Ramen? Ramen? I don't know. Hey, I just told you my traumatic Japanese backstory. <laughs> That's right. Well, at so, this point, I probably more ch- know more Japanese than you do. Oh, bitch, you want to have a Japanese off? A, j- a Japanese I can off? sing every single Inuyasha opening and ending. All right. That, okay, you know what? That does count. Fuck it. You know what? That's that's about as Japanese as you need to be anyways. Same with Naruto. If you go to Japan, that's all you'll need. You'll get around with that. Dude, I miss Japan. I want to go back to Japan. I know. Me too. Me too. It's like my people. I lived there for six months. You did? Yeah. 
I lived there in Oki, Okinawa for six months. And oh, was, that's not real Japan. Uh, yeah, but then I would hit mainland like every other month. Mm-hmm. So I would just get like an Airbnb out there. But yeah, Okinawa is definitely not Japan, Japan. It's like the Hawaii of Japan. Um, I was out there for six months and then I used to go back at least two or three times a year because I fucking hate it here. But I remember after my six months in Japan, I came home and... Um, give me one second. Don't put that in yet. Don't put it in yet? Yeah. I hey, this one's missing. Oh, shit. I just missed the finger. <laughs> no tip for Gina. <laughs> no tip for Miss Tran today. Oh, my God. Um, and then I remember my first thing. The first thing that happened when I flew here, when I flew back home from Japan, yeah. I landed at LAX at fucking in the middle of the night or something. I'm trying to go through customs and the most chad group of fucking white frat chad bros cuts in line in front of everyone and i'm i'm like oh my god i'm definitely back in america and i start yelling at them like hey back of the lines over there and we get into a fucking screaming match the security guard does fuck fucking nothing about it i'm like oh god this is fucking the worst and that reminds me of recently when i went when i went no, when i went uh to japan and i came back i tweeted uh Woke up in America today. That sucks. And then all the right wingers went nuts because <gasps> they thought, "Oh, you don't want to live in America? Why don't you go live in another get me married? Yeah, 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 just get out of my country. Yeah, because God forbid Took I go on a jabs. fucking vacation. Um, so that was super fun. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, okay. What what fucking step is this? I'm just cleaning it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just I'm just cleaning it You're up just a little clean, bit. Clean. Clean. I mean, it looks clean. Gina, we're running out of time. Let's just do one hand. Bitch, I'm not. Okay, we'll do one hand here and I'll finish it afterwards. <laughs> okay. I'm not sending you out there with one hand done, all right? My ancestors will be fucking haunting me for the rest of my life, all right? We do good service, okay? <laughs> good, good service. <laughs> so I had my nails done once by a guy. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I've always had the, my nails done by women. It would be sexist of me to refuse service from a man it's very just because I've been working with women. Yeah, it's very He thing. cut up my fingers no. so fucking bad because I, this was during a time where I would just get the uh, acrylics mm -hmm. done so mm -hmm. that I wouldn't have to like worry about them and I could just keep them for a month yeah. for when I had to do like shows and stuff. This yeah. is when I thought that appearance was like important <laughs> when doing work mm -hmm. and uh, because I was holding the mic, they're like, oh, you have to have your nails done and everything. Oh. That's a fucking lie. No one is going to book you based on your fingernails. So long as they're not like ugly, disgusting. If they're just plain fingernails, you're fine, ladies and gents. Morgan, or not Morgan, what is it? Uh, Megan Fox thumbs. Yeah, right? I'm pointing that out in the chat. Every She's hot as time. fuck. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, he used that like uh, sanding blade and oh, it cut no. up all of my fingers. And I felt bad and I still tipped. And I, But I just yeah. left. I'm like, I can never go back there. I was going to say, guys are the best nail guys I've ever had in my life. Like they do, I've never been cut by a nail, a nail guy before. Like they always do such a good job. That's wild, I'm sorry. He wrecked me. Oh my God. I was in college. That's part wrecked of the reason me. why I started just doing my own nails because I just didn't want to get cut up anymore. Cause that shit sucks, man. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's such a fucking pain when you, when you find out when you just like rub alcohol or sanitizer on your sanitizer on your fucking hands and it just stings like hell. Also because it's like, great way to save money <laughs> right i just don't do my nails i just chew on them i can tell i can fucking tell i gotta get you that dog thing where you just spray it on like things that you don't want them to chew up and just put it on your fucking fingernails that doesn't work my dog licks everything oh my little threshy boy he so likes cute. as soon as like i get home or i like get out of the shower mm -hmm. he goes on my legs Aww, like good soup good that's soup. so cute um i know you have your puppy that you just got yeah he has taken up a new trick, a new thing. What's that? Over here. <laughs> um, he eats cat poop now. I don't fucking you know, man. You mean the treasure jewels hidden Ew. beneath the sand? God, jeez. Yeah, dude, like, we've caught him so many times hiding under the couch. We're like, what is that? What is that? And then it's just, and then his mouth just smells like straight ass, bro. Just fucking cat shit. Like, oh, God, you really are my child, of course, you fucking weirdo. Like, that that's definitely my dog. You know, like, you have, like, that kid, like, your kid that you're kind of like, just embarrasses you in public. Yeah, my dog runs into glass doors. 
That's so cute. But he is my child. What a dumb dumb. Yeah. He also has the worst farts in existence. <laughs> also, my child. <laughs> he's so cute. How old is he? He's a good boy. He's 10. Aww. He's a puppy. Aww. He's going to live forever. He's going to live forever. He'll live forever. Uh, what have but- you been up to, Avi? Oh my gosh, this was a, can I be honest with you? This Mm. was a crazy fucking week. Yeah. On Monday, I had just like all of these crazy stressful business meetings Mm -hmm. um, where I'm just like banging my head against a wall because I'm going like, I just want to make fun things. Oh gosh, yeah. And then on Tuesday, I had the first episode of the show that I do with NFL called Tuesday Night Gaming. Cool. Uh, Shout out to that whole squad there. Yeah. Um, it's it's a very fun show, but it's a very long show, and I'm hosting it, so I have to like keep everything on track, keep everything on the rails. Yeah. But this week it was really fun. I got to host it with um, this guy named Scott Hansen. He runs this show on ESPN about football called Red Zone. He's oh, been doing yeah, it for yeah, like yeah. NFL Red Zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've heard of it. Yeah. So he's been doing that shit for like over 15 years. He told me. Yeah. And I'm like, holy crap. So like my uncle knows who he is and everything and has watched a show. I have done nothing with sports. Yeah. Um, so I'm basically playing the dumbass on, on for the show, um, which I love. But it's really cool to see like industry professionals from an industry that isn't your own. Yeah. Holy shit, Avi. That's actually so cool. Well, it was like, you know, what was crazy hmm. when I was talking to him the whole time. I'm like, oh, my God, you're the sports Kevin Pereira. Oh, yeah. 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 It was like the exact same like fun vibe, yeah. passion, energy, uh, very sweet person. Um, but instead of talking about like the stuff that Kevin geeks out over, it was, yeah. it was football and sports. I was like, I love this guy. Uh, and also it had people like Foosley on it, um, Symphony and Typical Gamer and Cypher PK, like oh, all of cool. these great gaming content creators. I um, mean, there's going to be more of them for yeah. every week. But so I had that. And then today is Wednesday. And I had my final show with Crown for the year, which is oh, Challengers. I love them. It was great. We had Nicewig on there, along with like Shoxy, um, playing some Apex. So it was like really fun, but it was a full day. And I also mm-hmm. had meetings in the morning. And then tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. I've got a couple more meetings. And then in the afternoon, I have a shoot uh for a video series that i'm testing out with FlyQuest. Oh. so girl i am tired i bet you're so exhausted you poor, poor i angel. am fucking tired <laughs> but that's good you know like i i'm so thankful to be busy yes and tired but also can you leave me the fuck alone so i can play Baldur's gate please i'm begging oh you oh my god like I'm so thankful, but also why am I here? You know, like I want to go home right now. Well, the good thing is, is like we can talk about Baldur's Gate because yep. bitch, I fucked a squid. Don't, don't, don't look at me. Like, you know what? Honestly, I've been wanting to get to that too. And I don't know when's going to yeah! come. <laughs> So here's the fun thing. I started up that game and I'm like, okay, I want to fuck everyone in my party. Mm -hmm. I ended up fucking like no one in my party. Mm -hmm. But instead I fucked and I'm going to do this with light, light spoils because I'm not going to tell you like who they were specifically. I fucked a bear. I had some bear cock inside me as a red dragonborn man. I got some demon puss and then I got some tentaclusy. And I loved every second of it. I fucked Gale. No one else wanted to fuck me, and I was very desperate. I f- That's worse than masturbation. Come on, he's like so sweet, and like he means well. And he's like, not. He is a. You. I feel so bad for him because everyone is so mean, and everyone's getting laid, and Gale's over here eating a fucking pair of boots or something. You know, like. That poor sweet angel baby boy. People give him shit for no reason. And you know what? Gail deserves love, okay? We protect Gail in this house. I don't think so. Not this fucking house. Absolutely not I this fucking house. I am waiting for when I get to get... Oh, you should just be able to... Should just... There, there you go. go. I got it. I've been waiting to get we'll some... Do one at a time. Mind flussy. So oh, yeah. some mind flussy? Yeah. Like, but I I, we're, I don't think I'm at that... I ain't saying shit. Okay, God damn it. I ain't saying... I yes. think I'm about almost the end of Act Two. I love Baldur's Gate. Um, 
Shart fucking hates me. Every time I try to talk to her, she's like, what? I'm like, Jesus, bitch. Like, I just want to ask if you want something to eat or something. She's so mean. She's also racist. Do you have Lazelle in your party? Yes. She hates Lazelle. They hate each other. She hates Lazelle because she's like, Ugh, a gif Yankee. And Lazelle's just like, I'm going to fuck a tree. Lazelle needs a Xanax. Okay. Like, this, this bitch is so fucking stressful like she needs to calm the fuck down we don't need to be in battle positions all the time you know like also like a lozenge or something that voice your throat sounds like it's hurting all the time she stresses me out and then shart over here fucking like cult culty psychopath i'm just trying to get laid by hysterian but then i found out he was a bottom so i don't even want that anymore i'm working on um on um Dommy mommy, dommy mommy. Yeah, I think I'm get. I'm, I think I'm in there. I dommy mommy in. Carlock. Yeah, I think I'm in there. She is. She's really a hot, vibe. and she's so cute. I know. She's just so cute. But yeah, like it's like, hey guys, I'm very thankful that I have work. But like, can you leave me alone for a few months, please, for the right. love of God? And then Starfield. Yeah, no, no, no. I saw some of the Starfield stuff too. When can I take my hand out? Oh, you're done. That's I'm fine. done. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Gina, at the beginning of this podcast, what color did I tell you that I didn't want to do because it's taken by basic Valorant bitches? Black? And Gina, what color are my nails right now? Black. I want a refund. You should be paying me for having the chance to work on my nails. But you can say the word now. If you like put it inside, you technically... Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, hopefully this week we don't get canceled again. We'll, 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 we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Love you. Yeah, if you think about it, if you put it inside, Ian said, if it's inside, then you can say it during, right? I'm trying to help you out here. Well, shit. Let me slide this up your ass. <laughs> and I'll see I what's say up. It. <laughs>